Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly reading for August 20th through the 26th. Now typically my readings are love readings so we'll just see whatever comes up. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to get two of these and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. Okay. Now remember, this reading might not be yours, okay? If it doesn't feel like it's yours, it's yours. You should just move on if it's not, okay? Don't get upset. If it's not yours, it's not yours. And if you get upset, then it is yours, okay? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate is probably not who you think it is. That's what I see when I see that card. It's when we think we know who it is, but it isn't. So that's what I think that is. Soulmate. Yes, this is a, my, your soulmate. So, you know, that's a complete contradiction, isn't it? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Perhaps you're with somebody right now that is not your usual type. And it's hard to fathom, you know, it's hard to fathom that this person is your soulmate. But it is. That could be the case. Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Maybe you've met somebody new. And this person is your soulmate. And it's shocking. Ooh. You could be... be the, the fool card reversed is, is being taken advantage of, being naive. E. I wonder if you think somebody's your soulmate and they're not. Hmm. Whew. Somebody is obsessed, isn't it? This is an obsession. Resisting. Resisting change. Holding on to something that isn't really tangible. I mean, it is, but maybe you do. Maybe you feel like this is, this is the right one. You may, you may think that somebody's your soulmate. Obsessed with it. This is thinking you know, but you don't. This is a lack of clarity. <laughs> Yes, it is. This is lack of clarity. Thinking that this is secure, stable. What the hell is this? There's no victory and success in something. That's what this is. A lack of victory and success is a lack of forward movement, a lack of momentum. This is reckless behavior. Naive being taken advantage of. Mm, it's like you're you you're at a crossroads right now and you have to decide to stay or go. You probably have an option between two people. Or your partner does. Now, this is like this could be a door that's closing and a new door opening. Two paths. Fear of change. This is fear of change as well. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, unrealistic. This is seven of coins. That's unrealistic dissatisfaction, which has caused some resent and anger. There's lack of clarity here. Somebody has been waiting for something to grow. And you know, soulmates come into our lives to teach us something. Sometimes they don't always stay. Okay? So keep that in mind. I mean, that is the way it is. Soulmates don't always stay forever. Something, maybe it's a relationship that you're in. I don't know. This is a completion of abundance. It's, it's, it is a completion. Maybe with a, a completion of a relationship with a soulmate that has no more forward movement. No more something. Oh, there's hurt. Sadness, sorrow. Grief. This is like very painful. Painful ending, perhaps, of a relationship. Could be with a Pisces. 
Could be with a Cancer, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Either way, there is some sort of illusion. There is some confusion. There is some lies. There's some deception here. There is. Something is not all as it seems. This person has probably come into your life to teach you something with this moon card. There's always something going on behind the scenes. This person is, is sneaky. There's sneaky, shady behavior here. There's, um, this is not pure, okay? Whatever you're dealing with doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. It's not pure. It's not heaven sent. It's, it was a, it's a season. It is a season. But you need to make a clear decision as to what love is. To love yourself. Because with the star card reversed, there's like no wish fulfillment with this love situation. And you need to be logical. You need to make a solid, firm decision. Because there's some a kind of injustice here. There's some sort of karma. This is karma. This is negative karma. This is bad karma. Could be with a Pisces, could be with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be, yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be with anybody. But this is a karmic situation that is being dealt with right now. That's the damn truth. With the moon card, with the justice card. It's a gamble and it's like you're, you're all treading on thin ice. And you, it's time for you to see the light and come out of this darkness. This is an unfair situation. It's karma. That's why soulmates come into your life to deal with karma. Damn it. Yeah, you need to free yourself. You need to, That's freedom. This is liberation. It's the end of a difficult time. It's when you take back your power. It's time for you to take the next step. I think you're dealing with a player. Things are chaotic. They're disorganized. You have to make a difficult decision as to whether you, you, know, you want to continue down this path or not. Or do you want to go back or do you want to stay right where you're at? This is freedom, liberation. Whatever you're engaged in does not lead. It's not pure. It doesn't lead to long-term wish fulfillment. You're clinging to the past or you're clinging to the good memories. That's what this is. Six of Cups reversed. It's somebody that is clinging to the memories of the past. It's unrealistic. There's no growth. It's, it's like a dead end situation. And you don't want to believe it. You don't want to see it. And that is what this is. I sh will continue to keep the mask on. I don't. I'm in denial. I do not want to see the truth. I do not want to hear the truth. I want to believe the truth. This is complete denial. You're teetering. You're about to fall. There's no relationship growth in this situation. That's that's what this card means. You somebody it could have been a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I don't know. Could have been an air sign. Could be anybody. Has come in to sweep you off your feet. And they don't have any follow through. They don't have any real long term goal. They don't. They, they, they can talk the talk. But they can't talk the walk. Or walk the walk. Whatever it is. And it needs to end. There's, a, there's an ending here. Endings bring new beginnings. And, and that's what it is. I think that what this is. Is that, the, that somebody has thought that they, they're with their soulmate. I think there's an ending with one and a beginning with somebody else that is not your usual type. That's why we have two soulmate cards. There's one that the one that you end with and a new one that is is better suited for you. But you have to take that veil down. You have to accept the truth. You have to. You don't. If you don't, you will continue to get bad karma. And that's exactly what that justice is reversed. That's an injustice. It's a lie. It's deception. It's bullshit. Endings bring new beginnings. 
There's a relationship that has no growth and it needs to end. But somebody is, all they're doing is thinking about it because, you know, I all I want is love. I just want to be loved. And they're not thinking about... any other opportunities although you're dealing either you're really bored in this relationship and discontent or the person you're dealing with is somebody isn't feeling loved here or they're not in love and if somebody is reluctant to move on therefore their their life is unharmonious And that's the damn truth. Unharmonious. I've said it with this card. This is unharmonious. Unbalanced. Somebody is trying to escape. This is escape. And the moon is escape. Escape the reality. And that is the case as well. Things are very unbalanced at this time. Again, with the Two of Pentacles, a lot of unbalance here with this as well. With the, with the justice as well. This, this, this reading should be named Unbalanced. Things are unbalanced in your life because you're dealing with a karmic soulmate that it was meant to come is meant to come into your life for uh, to teach you something, and you have somebody else that is different, another one. But right now you're being taken advantage of. Perhaps you've acted recklessly with this person. The very first card that came out, that's reckless behavior, and now some somebody was being naive. And now they need to protect themselves. You need to you need to defend yourself in this situation, Leo. Somebody is hurting you. And you're in denial about it. Whew. You know, it's time to be happy. It's time to sever those ties. This is about, it's no longer needing to prove yourself. It's about being happy. It's no longer wanting to live in this state of mental turmoil. I just want to be happy. I need to free myself from this karmic soulmate, this past, whatever it is, the memories, even though, yeah, there's good memories, but you still need to liberate yourself so that you can be happy. Happiness is under this one, this soulmate that isn't your usual type, but you're in denial. You've lost your focus and you've lost your concentration. You've lost your ambition and your drive. To take the lead in your own life. To believe. Five of cups. You don't want to see that. You don't want to believe that you have another opportunity. We have three cups here. Three. I think that you've been involved in a third party situation. Perhaps the person that you're with is still in love with somebody else. That's what this card tells me. And I feel as though you don't. I mean there is. So I think that you know you have another opportunity waiting for you with somebody else. But you think this is the person for you and you're wrong. I don't know what this is, but this is what this is. I mean, the five of cups, I mean, that is what this is. It's emotional disappointment, not wanting to believe or to see or to acknowledge that you have another opportunity that is better suited for you. In denial. Denial, denial, denial. Therefore, you will continue to get bad karma and unfair situations because you don't, you don't want to own up to the truth. <laughs> Keeping it a secret. I don't want to believe the truth. I already know it all. I know it all. But the fact of the matter is you don't know it all. This is not allowing the changes to happen. You know, there's a script. We all have a written script, and some people may not believe that, but I do. This is trying to go against the script, trying to keep something alive, trying to keep things under wraps, you know, having hidden agendas. This is trying to keep things as they are when you know deep down that's not the case. This is not following your intuition. Or thinking that you, thinking that you know that this is it. When you don't, there's something else. There's something better for you waiting, but you can't even see it. You're not even looking at it. Therefore, this pro this whole thing, this whole thing is stalled, stopped, halted. 
because somebody is going through a repression, a loss of self, while dealing with a karmic soulmate when they have somebody that is better suited for them. There's no doubt there you do have somebody that is better suited, but you can't even see it. You can't even see it. Therefore, you're in a situation that isn't stable, isn't secure, but... It's false. <laughs> it's a false foundation. It's false. It's not stable. It's not secure. And you're going to have... Something is going to happen to force a change. You have somebody better suited for you. I know that you do. It's time to get that fire relit within you. It's time to get excited again. You have an exciting new opportunity with somebody else. So I feel like this is a week of there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that forces you to find your focus and your confidence and your willpower that's been lacking because it's time for a rebirth. It's, it is. It's time for something new. With the death card and the sun card, it's time for something new. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of Well, you're resisting this. This is a resistance. I'm resisting change. So there's going to be some sort of karmic event, it looks like, that causes some upheaval in your life. When you resist change that is meant to happen to bring you growth, the universe will cause problems. So that's what this looks like to me. It looks like there is going to be some issues because somebody is resisting something that is unrealistic. There's no growth. There's a, they're living a lie. They're living an illusion. Son of a bitch. There's an opportunity if you could be positive, think positive, and realize that you have an opportunity that is better suited for you. Please realize that. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this because a lot somebody that is watching this thinks they're staying with us in a situation that is karmic and it isn't bringing them growth. And they are refusing to see that. Therefore, they're still getting pummeled by bullshit. I mean, things are very unharmonious and unbalanced because somebody is trying to make something be that it isn't. Soulmates come into our lives for a reason and then we typically move on. Not always. Some stay forever, some don't. And I know that I don't want to hear that this isn't my soulmate. I don't want to hear that. Nobody does. But I have to accept it. And you do too. If you try to control the, the script, it will bring you bad luck and bad karma. Keep an open mind. I know a lot of you probably won't want to hear this. You won't want to like this. Well, that's, that's okay. I'm not in denial. And you shouldn't be either. This card is major denial. Major. I don't want to see the truth. I will keep the veil on. And the universe doesn't like that. So I feel like this is a week of, of perhaps 
making a stressful, painful decision. That's what this is, a stressful, painful choice decision. To accept whatever truth it is, I don't know. Keep an open mind, you have somebody else. Whatever doesn't fit, let it go. Otherwise you will continue to get a rude, wa rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. You will continue to get upheaval in your life until you take that veil off. So Leo, this is what I have. I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. You're only hurting yourself. There's hidden forces here. There is. There's there's some lies, there's some deception, and you know it. But you're in denial. Talk to you later.